All right, hang on. Normally, I wouldn't start here of all places because, but uh, this is something I never really paid attention to the last time. Your zoos. Here you can pick from the eight zoos you currently own. Each zoo operates independently, so at any time you can reset a franchise looking at start again with no consequences. Investment funds are collected at $1 for every thousand you earn in your franchises. This excludes zoos that support infinite money. So sandbox. Um, well, it's uh, basically sandbox uh, zoos, which is uh, not what we're doing. Now, if I remember correctly, this is, yes, Dinosaur Island, the next step in CRISPR research, reviving dinosaurs. Uh, we are not going to do this right now. We'll save this for later. I'd, I'd like to continue working on our default zoo first before moving on to Dinosaur Island. But we will cover Dinosaur Island, just not at the near, not immediately. Also, because this is DLC, you, you, it doesn't make you pay for it for some reason. I don't know. That being said, if if you want a different location where you we are, there are other places too, like Kansas. Ah, yes, nothing like putting a zoo on in Kansas of all places. A plot of land is up for sale and it looks like it's just a place to start a new zoo. A uh, limited task of freedom to build all types of buildings without morality limits. Oh, this is, uh, is this sandbox mode? Is, is the Kansas one sandbox mode or am I misinterpreting that? I don't know. <laughs> I might check that later. But we will go back to our previous play. Uh, which is Zootopia. We'll go back here. Ah yes, everybody wanders straight in. Uh, Capybara Love. I'm really grateful for your past donation, but unfortunately, I don't think the rabbit worked out. It would just start digging holes in the ground or get distracted by food. So, while we will keep on trying, I think maybe a different gentle animal would work. How about a capybara? Do you think you could donate a capybara? Give one capybara to me. Uh, so, the pre so I guess the rabbit didn't work out. Which, I mean, yeah, it's going to start digging holes if we don't keep it in an enclosure. So, I don't... I don't know. Oh, uh, boo. We unfortunately only have two copy bars at the moment. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this male standard capybara, uh, Tito and donate it and we got 600 bucks for that which is good because last time when i was did my last recording of this game it's been a while by the way since i did it record last uh we went into bankruptcy which is bad so we now have to deal with um paying off a loan Specifically, a loan of 728. And that's going to take a little bit to get that taken care of and out of the way. Oh, hello. Critical choice. Putting things together. Created hybrid. Thanks for building the CRISPR facility. Let's help each other out. We would like to use your facility to test hybrid creation as a bonus. You get to keep whatever new species of animal you create. Please pick which animals you would like to fuse. Now, we we can technically make our own uh, hybrids ourselves once we have enough um, of the genome uh, mapped out. 
But until then, this is another way to potentially get hybrids. So in this particular instance, they are willing to either create a goose and rabbit hybrid or a pig and snake hybrid for us. I haven't fully figured this out yet, but I'm assuming hybrids are sterile. Because I don't think I've ever seen one breed. Maybe I'm wrong, but from my current understanding, hybrids do not breed. So it's not like we can use the pig to potentially get other pigs down the line. That would be great, but I don't think so. I think for now we're going to go with a goose rabbit. Uh, hybrid growing. New experiment added to CRISPR Splicer. It will be raised soon. Check the building regularly. So if we check the CRISPR Splicer... We can see that there is an ex a, a CRISPR in progress. And there's a little tiny little uh, single-celled hybrid baby in the tube. And it's going to take about five days to um, finish. In-game days, of course. So we'll have to check that in like five days. Now I have the fun job of trying to remember what I was doing because again, it's been a while since I last recorded. Uh... Yeah, one thing I do think I want to do and I'm actually going to pause things for a second while I'm thinking of this. I am actually going to uh, move some things around because I have made the decision that I want to make the paths wider in some spots because right now they're uh, very skinny and it's really hard to navigate certain areas with the way it's set up right now. So slowly I am going to work towards um, increasing the paths. I want to at least get them like to like two by two if possible. But it might take a while. Another thing I have decided I'm going to do is your new closure shop must surround all existing decorations. Gotcha. Oh, what? Oh, that's not what I want. Um... Hang on, there is a way to do this. Change shape. There we go. That's the button I was looking for. So... We still want to kind of maintain this current shape we got going. However... What I want to do is I actually want to expand it out like this. Whoops, doodle, there's people in the thing. <laughs> oh, wait, why is there a weird shape now? Ah, oh. there. Looking for the gate there. And what we will and this will give the hyenas more room to expand uh, the pack or 
No, oh, pack's the right word. And since we basically destroyed part of our path, we are just gonna recreate that real quick. Okay. I think we're actually gonna move this. There we go. That looks better. Alright, I think we will actually resume for the moment. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do here of all spots, because it's... I don't know if I want to add like another enclosure or... Maybe a sort of relaxation area, or perhaps they want to add more locations for buying things. I'm still trying to figure that part out. Nope, I keep forgetting that's the pause button. Did I actually not? Oh, okay, so it won't actually let me tweak the food until they actually show up. I did not know that. Well, I'm thinking about it though, I am gonna go check where everything is at. Now, something to keep in mind is some of our animals are getting uh, a bit on the older side. Like, um oh no, trying to like cubby is already 24 days old and we're gonna have to deal with that at some point oh hi this must be our new goose Awesome! You have discovered five of the goose variants. You now begin splicing it at the crisper splicer. Sweet! That's actually really good. Alright, day 22. We actually made a thousand bucks today. Oh, we did use some of it though to update the uh, hyena pen and such. Uh, park rating attracted 60 people. We had negative 16 people felt the ticket price was too expensive. So 16 people thought the price was maybe too low? Which might mean we can get away with increasing the price. Oh, there's our hyenas! Our hyenas finally showed up. Aww. Look at them, they're so cute! And hopefully they have room to, uh... Run freely! Their heart's content. We are flat in the middle. For acceptable enclosure capacity, so... We might not be able to put too many hyenas in without causing issues. So something to keep in mind. Now that the hyenas are here, we could actually tweak this. Oh, nope. That's not... Nope. Alright, so let's see. What are our options? We have insects, carrion, and eggs. Let's, uh, let's just get rid of these. Alright, 10% insects.
When does this go? Oh, ten percent really? Okay. Twenty percent eggs will give us the highest nutrition. Now I gotta figure out what is going to be the cheapest option for filling out the rest of the diet. Let's see, it looks like every percentage of insects we add increases it by 18 cents, I think. Yeah, 18 cents. Karen is 80 cents and eggs is 30. So let us do a mixture of 50% and 40% eggs. That should do okay. Ooh! That is a lot of money for two weeks. I use are definitely expensive to feed. We had a birth? Emma has been born. Say hello to Ricky. Oh, we did indeed get another baby. Awesome. Hang on, let's uh, pause this for a second. So I've been trying to figure out how the breeding works. And I think... I think the thing I'm missing, because I paid for the uh, research for the breeding program, I think, yeah, that's what I thought. I forgot to actually put the nursery up. I did not realize I needed to install the nursery. Let us, uh, let's fix that. Oh, I just realized you can have multiple nurseries. Okay. We don't need to check that anymore. Let us... Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we can actually pick a breeding pair of different animals and see if we can force some more parts of the genome to show up. Well, for example, we could do the rabbits, since we, we know we have that. And so if we breed a ra brown rabbit with this, the sort of dutchy brown color or orangey brown color, we could potentially have a new uh variant show up okay so this is the specific percentages so 37 percent of the time it's going to be the orange duchy color which i think is typically called tan or red and the uh rabbit breeding uh hobby 30 percent of the time it'll be brown and then 26% of the time it will be this new variant. This is experience. Breeding gains experience that helps balance out the chances of offspring variants of that breeding pair. Oh, okay. These two animals will be removed from public display. Okay, we are fine with that. Uh, breeding pair, not pregnant. So we can do two of these. By the looks of it. Uh, we already have that. A potential offspring. Then what we can do is we can do a white goose and this other pattern of goose and see if we can get this new variant.
Uh, pregnancy probabilities for 50% of pregnancy period is two days. Right? Remove your animals from the screen slot back to their pens. Okay. Nursing period is two days. Nursing will ensure that the baby will have a longer lifespan. Extending nursing time will give good morality points. Removing nursing time will give evil morality points, but you will be able to display the baby sooner, which will attract more visitors. Ooh. Okay. A production target set when to stop when to stop bringing this pair. Okay. So I can increase this to um, wherever I want. I could also increase this, but we're going to leave those unchanged for the moment. All right. Day 23. We lost 185, and I think that's just because we put the nursery down, which is kind of expensive. We attracted 62 people. Um, six percent or six percent that's not right six people felt the ticket price was too expensive and 56 entered it was kind of a lull day this time uh captain cola's back sweet captain cola i'm a role model for kids everywhere more than a brand i am a friend but on a serious note the cola corporation are saying that with the increased sales they might be able to give me a one day off in a few months and make my suit's air holes a little long, Urger. Captain Cola is here. Time to cool it up. Sell 50 from the cola vendor in one day. We will pin that for the moment. So let us check research. Let's see what we can do next. Reduce pregnancy time. Research points to unlock 18, unlock one more nursery pack, which will cut all pregnancy times to a day. We need eight or 10 morality for this, which we have, but we do need 18 research points, so we can't get that yet. Uh, subway pack. Subways are essential for larger zoos and allow your staff and visitors to quickly get from one place to another. Unlock three more transfer pack. Reduce the cost of your subways by 25%. This is really good for when we get super big. I'm not really worried about picking this up just at the moment, but it is something to consider once we like maybe expand one or two more times by buying more property. Leaves is a maybe. This could be useful for adding more different types of enrichment. Uh, animal shelters increase quality of life by 10%. Or no, if I unlock two more animal shelter packs, it increases the quality of life for animals by 10% when a shelter is in a pen. I see. A mini fountain. Uh, do, 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 tree pack, plant, potted plant pack, plant pack bushes, crop seeds, soybeans. Uh, I do need a farm plot first before I can uh, get that done. Which I'm kind of surprised I don't see that anywhere. You would think if we would be seeing the crop seeds, the farm plot would be visible, but maybe we need to keep exploring to find more. Ah yes, as if our, our colorful balls were not enough, we could theoretically get bigger balls. Uh, we could get a different type of restroom. We can start getting animal statues. I think this one gives specifically a monkey statue and an elephant statue. This is what I was looking for. It's the incinerator. This is how you're primarily going to be dealing with animals that pass away. Is you will incinerate their bodies. Is it the, is it the funnest idea to think about? No, but... 
you know zoos have to deal with the dead animals some way, and it's usually incinerators. But we need to unlock something next to it first. This could also be really useful. Research pack, researcher plus one. This gives us uh, another the opportunity to have another researcher to increase how quickly we gain research points. Unfortunately, we need 20 points to get this, so we might need to wait. Art to Conclosure is also a potential unlockable option. However, I haven't run across anything that requires this particular type of enclosure yet, so we might wait on that too. You know what, now to think about it a little bit more, I think we are going to actually wait until we get three more points and then unlock the this one. Because that will help us in the long run get more research. So, never mind. We're not going to do anything with that. Why are you there of all places? That's really way out of the way. This place is kind of fun. Not perfect, but better than staying at home. They have spent six bucks, which is just to get in. Not ideal. Wait, when did you make a baby? Oh, I didn't even notice this baby showing up. Okay, that's cute. Let's check this section out. Think about. Oh, okay, they're both both pairs of pregnant. That's good. So I just need to wait a little bit longer on that. Let me check something. Got water decoration. Right. Decoration score 6.7 versus 26.7 for decoration over here. So as I've said, before, I believe, decoration is important for keeping people interested and in sticking around. If they don't find it pretty, they will literally leave. Bins are fine. Lighting might be a problem. Yeah, lighting is terrible in this other section because we have, like, next to no lighting here. Probably should do something about that. This brightish, fun-looking thing is collision. All the entrances, the animal creepers. I don't have. Why do I not have it? Oh, okay. Uh, who should I give this to? I think. I think Jacob's some more experienced one. So we're going to give this one to Jacob as well. Right. Yep. Looks pretty good. Mascot. Nah. Farmer. Not relevant. Oh, technically speaking, mascot's not relevant either because we don't actually have one of those either. Let me check what is in the animal shelter. I see not much. I see a new type of snake. Which might be a good idea to pick up because we need to see if we can increase the genome. But other than that, eh, nothing else is new. I might wait. I am curious which one of these we have for that. That looks like a cow, actually, now that I look at it. And back we go. We attracted 60 people. 
Is that number actually going low? Or I think it's going lower. And I don't like the fact that it's going lower. That's actually not good. 